Good morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Friday's trading session, end of week, the 31st of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market numbers, we have the uh, Nikkei down quite uh, prolifically overnight, certainly diving almost 300 points at, at, uh, at one time. Uh, you have the uh, Chinese markets uh, up, um, more or less mixed. You have the Hang Seng down 0.8%, with the Shanghai up 0.3%, more of a oversold bounce, given the fact that it was down four days straight. Now, we had Chinese data certainly coming in line, more or less, uh, overnight, although Japanese inflation figures slightly moving higher and therefore negating any further additional stimulus. And therefore, you are looking for the, uh, well, certainly expecting the Nikkei to move low, which obviously it did down to that 18900 level so Nikkei is certainly very weak or if we just bring up the daily chart you can see certainly flushed overnight okay certainly looking like it wants to go back and test the 18900 uh, well, which it already has after hours and uh, potentially test uh, the uh, 18800 and potentially test the lower 18650 also we've had comments from Mr Trump out overnight in terms of uh, currency manipulation and uh, potential uh, uh, review of each country in terms of the uh, trade deficit and uh, the reactions to that now. Uh, also with regards to China, also reiterating the Chinese potential meeting next week certainly will be very problematic, especially given the fact that the uh, the Americans are in a massive deficit. So that's certainly something to take on board. We've had uh, our hawkish Fed speakers as well overnight, but really the comments in terms of uh, currency manipulation uh, and currency debauchery and uh, etc. will certainly be uh, interpreted as being negative for emerging markets and for and for China too. We have uh, the FTSE 100 with Brexit concerns, so again, that certainly is a, a risk off. Uh, consumer confidence out overnight, and uh, the lowest business barometer certainly one on the weaker side for the FTSE 100 itself. Uh, you had UK confidence as well, business investment inventories certainly lower as well. Oil supply data certainly on the stronger side, therefore exerting further pressure. Political uncertainty via Flynn uh, asking for potential immunity before he goes and. Uh, uh, being interrogated so again that's certainly a risk negative Spanish retail sales certainly weaker as well a UK GDP on the weaker side too German retail sales missing this morning too so uh, I can go on and on okay so many arguments for the markets to fall okay from my perspective certainly a risk off the only thing that's keeping them work will slightly push the markets onto the upside will be uh, uh, inflation data out of the eurozone certainly coming in on the weaker side and therefore obviously cementing uh, additional stimulus or, or mr draghi's hand to be uh, dovish going forward even though we have had comments from mr not and another ecb member as well uh, indicating that uh, uh, ecb could favors disclosing votes on council but that is not prevailing view Okay, so again, ECB Commission says progress and geek bailout talks should open door for mission chief, blah, 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 blah. There was one comment uh, I heard, uh, I read earlier on in terms of uh, potential tapering, okay, and pausing QE. So again, that certainly is risk, risk negative. ECB shouldn't hesitate to adapt communication if needed. That's according to Courier. Courier incoming data has shifted the balance of risk to neutral. So again, that certainly is uh, risk negative. In terms of UK GDP in the third quarter of 2016 has been revised down from 0.6 to 0.5 this morning, worsening of household perception of the general economic and their uh, general economic and their own financial situation. Again, that's risk negative. Okay. Also, with regards to the European Union, stating that the president of the European Union Council says UK must pay billions of dollars in financial commitment before any Brexit deal. Okay, that certainly isn't good. UK consumer spending outlook looking very worrying. Savings ratio down to record low 3.3. A real household disposable income fell 0.4%. Uh, business inventories down as well again it certainly seems to be a number of um, bearish economic data yet this market somehow stays afloat which is very baffling it certainly seems like there's some sort of algo or invisible bid that's attempting to keep this market higher so certainly risk negative for my interpretation so let's see exactly how the market's positioned it so looking at the german dax okay so the weekly chart now we're coming into resistance therefore one needs to exercise caution on the upside here daily chart certainly is prone to potential reversal we've got gap fill first of all 12150 then gap bill gap fill at 11900 so again watch out for those gaps below 60 minute chart on the um, the actual german dax at the moment again like i said it's all about gap fill below that's what we're potentially targeting on the uh, german dax 10 minute chart at the moment still holding the uh, the 10 minute chart of the german dax has held double top okay so again that certainly is risk negative close the gap 
held double top okay we have held the pivot low here at 12 to 30 so watch out for 12 to 30 as well so looking for a flush down 12 to 30 in the german dax potentially down to 12 200 as well certainly looking for risk aversion to kick in especially given the fact that the nikkei has flushed down 300 points from that pivot high of 19 250 down to uh, down to 18 900 so again bear that in mind in terms of the um, the CAC, let's bring up the CAC here, CAC daily chart, daily uh, really is in no man's land, okay. You do have gap fill uh, resistance at uh, 5100, I mean we've hit a pivot high of uh, 5090 already, so we'll let's close that. 60 minute chart on the French CAC, let's have a look here, again looking like it's a, it's a lower high here folks, looking like it wants to put in a h &S formation. The 10 minute chart certainly is prone and it's ideal. Uh, ideal scenario for that HNS to play out. You still have the unfilled gap above that hasn't closed, and therefore bias remains bearish. Okay, so yes, watch out for the HNS formation. So you have the left shoulder here, okay, head, okay, looking for this right shoulder now, and then looking to to flush, okay. So flush down to five zero sixty, five uh, zero forty five, and then you have five zero thirty. So which is gap fill, okay. So watch out for gap fill below. That's really your, your main target on the. Uh, on the French CAC, so keep an eye on that 5045 to 5030 is your target on the French CAC. Okay, now in terms of the um, FTSE 100, let's just bring this up, folks. Okay, so daily chart, let's go to the daily chart first of all. Really, it's a HS formation, right shoulders in, and therefore looking to flush. Uh, 60 minute chart, you've broken the rising contracting wedge pattern, looking to test the support. Around a 7315 level, and obviously 7265 certainly comes into play as well. 10 minute chart, really, is just a bare flag formation. Really, we're just consolidating here now, uh, remaining below previous support equals resistance, and then looking to test that low at 7315. So that should be a target. And just to confirm, I am already short the, uh, the FTSE already, 7344 zone 45. Okay, now in terms of Euro stocks, let's just quickly bring that up for you as well. Double top holding on a 60 minute chart, and therefore looking to flush. Flush lower down back to uh, 3450. That's my target area. Okay, I think that's a good uh, summation of your European equities. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Take advantage of that bonus and be sure to visit TradeSignal. Download the latest app. Goodbye now.